You just finished a horrendous game. You lost 2-13. And your friends come up to Discord, they ask you. Yo, what's up? And you say, I was doing fine, but man, my teammates were so bad like silvers. I hope I get some good teammates because I deserve to be higher. This isn't my elo. How many times have you had similar things in your mind after an ugly loss? At least a million times. And don't lie to me because I did the same. I blamed it on my teammates. But I have bad news for you. The uncomfortable truth is that you are in your rank because you belong there. In other words, that's what you deserve. And then I hear you say, but Ejok, in my games I have trolls and AFKs. Is this really something that I could influence? My answer is of course not. You can't change your teammates and most of the time you can't even have a positive impact on them. But then what should you do? Luckily I have the answer for you and it's very simple. To rank up from one rank to another there are three criteria you have to fulfill. Firstly your mechanics have to be on the same level as everyone else on that specific rank. Let's say to rank up from silver 3 to gold 1 you will need to improve your mechanics to have a consistent gold 1 level before you wanna be there. And then you will rank up already, right? Well, the sad truth is that we are only getting closer, but we aren't good enough yet. The next crucial part of your gameplay has to be your game sense. So you will learn when to push, how to play for certain parts of each map or when not to do that. This is adaptability. You learn to be flexible and you understand the game a bit better. Obviously, to go from Silver Street to Gold 1, you won't have to reinvent the game, just go step by step. And then the most important thing that can be the difference between a silver and a gold one is your mentality. This is the last part of our gameplay that has to be fixed. So when you get to play, you are already winning your fights because your mechanics are at least at the same level as the desired rank. You are outsmarting players because your game sense has improved enough that you are always a step ahead. And last but not least, you keep your cool and support your team instead of getting mad. Congratulations, you ranked up to gold one. But then, why is there an ascendant one icon? I apologize, I forgot to mention, but there is a happy side of this uncomfortable truth. Because it's true for every single rank. You don't have to really think about how to rank up, because it's there right in front of you. If you are not ranking up, it's only because a part of your gameplay is not at the same level as the players on that beautiful rank you wanna get to. Now we found the issue and we have the solution as well. But there will be another fatal mistake that you will be making and you won't even realize. But to learn a little bit more about this, you should check out this video.